Hello everyone, this is Math 6, Lesson 7-4. Find areas of polygons. In this lesson, we'll be able to find the areas of polygons. So let's start with solve and discuss it. Gabrielle wants to cover the floors of a room and a hallway in her dollhouse. She measured the room and hallway and sketched the floor plan below. How much felt does Gabrielle need? Felt is like a cloth that you need um, to cover the floors. Okay, okay. Um, let's look at this model. We have this polygon with dimensions labeled here. We want to figure out the area of this, right? So if that's if that side is five inches, that's fifteen, that's ten, that's 22, can we figure out the area um, by decomposing the shape into familiar shapes that we know? Yes. So last lesson, we learned how to decompose um, shapes that we don't really know how to solve for, like, you know, um, trapezoids and kites. This one uh, could be decomposed into rectangles, right? So let's see how you can divide this. You can divide it either like this or like this. Okay, either way works, but we're gonna divide it here so that we don't have to calculate for the other sides. Okay, so this long rectangle, um, area of that long rectangle would be 22 times five. And the area of this rectangle would be 15 times 10, right? So then if you multiply um, five times 22, you get 110 inches square. 15 times 10 is 150 inches square. So total area would be 110 inches square plus 150 inches square, which is 260 inches. Okay, so uh, Gabrielle needs 260 square inches of felt is the final answer. Gabrielle, 260 Okay, let's look at focus on math practices. Show another way to find the area of the sketch. What is the another, what is another um, method? Yes, you can divide it in a different way, but can we solve for this area and then subtract this area? Yeah? So that's 22 inches and this is 15 plus five inches, which is 20 inches. So the area of the whole thing will be 22 times 20, which is 440. And the area of this one would be, um, what's 22 minus 10? This is, 22 minus 10, which is 12. So 12 times 15, and that's 180. Inches square, inches square. What do you do? You subtract them. You subtract 180 by 440, and you get 260 inches square. Okay, this is another way. All right, let's look at the next page. So in this lesson, let's think about how we can find areas of polygons. Example one, decompose to find the total area. Denise is building a patio in her backyard as shown in the diagram. Mm. She needs to know the area before she orders patio tiles. What is the area of the patio? Okay. She wants to know the area. So basically figure out the area for that. You already know how to solve for the area of a rectangle and triangle. So figure out each 
figures, each um, shapes and add them, right? So the rectangle would be four times six, 24. And then that would be six times two divided by two would be the area of these tri this triangle. Six times two, base times height divided by two, 12 divided by two is six. So six for this big triangle. And then that's also six. And so 24 plus six plus six is 36 meters square. Okay, that's one way. Another way, you're gonna find the area of this whole rectangle over here. Okay, how do you know this side? Well, that's two plus four plus two, right? <coughs> Excuse me. So that's going to be total um, four plus two plus two, which is eight meters. And then this is already uh, given six meters. So eight times four, eight times six is 48. And so 48 meters squared minus the area of these triangles over here. That's going to be 12 meters squared. That's gonna be 36 meters square as well. So your answer does not change because obviously it's the same area, but you can have multiple different ways to solve for the same answer, okay? So let's see if you can do this try question by yourself. Sherry found the area of the patio by composing the shapes as shown at the right. How is Sherry's strategy different? Ooh. So it's the same problem. Sherry's going to find this area in order to find the area for that. OK, so you can decompose and put the shapes over here. So this is another, right? This is a third way. Um, I think this one, this way is just my way that I added. but. But um, the textbook over here shows another way. You can move this, the triangles over here and make a square. So six times six is also 36. But Sherry made three different rectangles over here. Does that also work? She decomposed and recomposed the shapes into three rectangles. Yeah, like she didn't. She didn't um, change anything. She just recomposed it, right? So that rectangle is from the triangle on the right. This rectangle, this green one is triangles on the left. And then, and then she put it into rectangles. And then she just put it like over here instead of putting the rectangle, the other rectangle on top of each other. So, can we explain how that's different? Sherry decomposes and recomposes shapes into three rectangles. Blue rectangle is composed, oops, composed of blue triangles. Three times two is equal to six. And the, or, the green rectangle goes from another two triangles. So three times two is equal to six. Orange rectangle is just the main one in the middle. So six times four is 24. So the area of the patio, six plus 24 plus six, which is equal to 36 square meters, okay? There. Convince me, how could, you decomp how could you decompose the figure in the triad into two rectangles? You can divide the orange rectangle in half horizontally like this. 
and then create you can create one rectangle that's eight by three and another that's four by three okay but you can also do it in another way there are multiple ways to uh decompose by the orange rectangle and have but remember, you cannot add or subtract numbers that's not already there. Okay. Only creating one rectangle by three years rectangle four meters by three meters. Okay. All right, next page, example two, subtract to find the total area. The Robinsons are planning to resurface the path that surrounds their garden as shown. What is the area of the path? Okay, we got a garden over here and then we're gonna resurface, but they're gonna resurface the path that surrounds their garden. What's the area of this path that surrounds the garden? So you don't want the area of the garden. So you might, one way, you can find the total area for the rectangle and then subtract the area of the garden, right? So the total area of the garden, the path will be eight times seven, 56. Okay, and then you're gonna subtract the garden area, four times three, 12 meters square. And then that leaves you 40, four meters square. So that's the area of the um, path. Okay, so but all together it's 56 meters square. For example, three, find the area of a polygon on the coordinate plane. The floor plan of the new for a new stage at the school is sketched on a coordinate plane like here. Um, a flooring expert recommends bamboo flooring for a stage floor. How much bamboo flooring in square meters does the school need? Basically, figure out the area. So you can figure out the area of the right triangle here and the rectangle over here and then the bigger rectangle over here. Four times five divided by two is 20 divided by two, 10. Six times four is 24. 11 times five is 55. You add them all together, you get a total area of 89. So you need 89 meters square of bamboo flooring. Okay, let's see if you, if you can do this trial question by yourself, find the area of the shaded region in square units and come back when you're ready for answers. Okay, did you figure it out? What is one way you can do? You can figure out the whole area and then subtract the area of this one. How do you figure this out? It's a parallelogram, right? So you multiply base times height. This is one, two, three, four, five units. And that's one, two, three, four units. So the bigger the parallelogram, is five times four, 20 square units. And then the smaller parallelogram has a base of two and the height of two. So this is two, smaller one, okay? So um, two times two is four. So the area of the shaded one is 20 minus four, which is 16 square units, square units. Okay. All right, that was that was it for this lesson. So let's summarize our lesson. There are many ways to find the area of a polygon. You can decompose or compose shapes, or you can use addition or subtraction to calculate the area. Okay, using addition, you can decompose and then figure out the area separately and then add them. Okay, that's the area one, two, three, you add one, two, three.
okay? And then subtraction, you figure out the area of the whole rectangle and then subtract this part that's not shaded. All right, that was 7-4, find areas of polygons. In the next video, we'll talk about um, representing solid figures using nets. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Um, if you have any more questions, please ask Ms. King in class. Bye.